This video is brought to you by Alienware, featuring Intel Core i7 processors. Start gaming. The next Battlefield game is a long way away, around 12 months to go. We've had rumours it'll be Battlefield 5, we've had the DICE team stating they didn't know what made people like Bad Company 2 so much, suggesting they might want to make a third in the spin-off series, and we've seen a fake leak of 2143. We're nowhere near this game yet, and it seems now more than ever, because this year we're missing out on our Battlefield goodness, People want to know, desperately, what is coming next. Just before I go on today, the video was created on my Alienware 15 laptop. That means edited and rendered. The footage is something that I had in a folder on my main PC from a while back, but it was all created on my Alienware 15 laptop. So if you think it looks good, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to check out the laptop, then there is a link in the description. Now. I'm as impatient as the rest of the community. Any new content that comes for Battlefield 4 and I'm all over it. Take the recent reveal of the Dragon Valley Team Deathmatch Zone, which has been modelled on Noshar Canals. That was sure to get people excited, bringing back a fan favourite map into the newer game. But it doesn't quite cut it like fresh news of a brand new game in development and we haven't had a whiff of anything official on the future of the Battlefield franchise for a while now. That is until Friday. An article surfaced on the interwebs regarding DICE LA and their involvement within the development of Battlefield 4. IGN posted the article which took snippets of an interview that they had with Patrick Soderlund, EA's Executive Vice President. He's been quoted as saying it is highly likely that DICE LA will be leading its own project soon, after a period of support within the Battlefield franchise. Here's the full quote from Patrick now. When you start something new, sometimes it's actually good for them to test the waters, to try a couple of expansion packs. You've got to have a good idea for a great game before you can make a game, and that takes time. This comment was backed up by EA CEO Andrew Wilson, who stated he had no doubt that DICE LA will be building their game at some point, because it's a really, really passionate group of people down there. Now, nothing in that article states that DICE LA would be the creator of the next Battlefield game, but what it does at least confirm, and I think we can all agree on this, is that DICE LA are up for making something of their own. The work that they've done on Battlefield 4 is, well, staggering. The way they've adapted it from the mess that it was left in around May 2014 is nothing short of remarkable. They made the game fun again, not frustrating. They saved a dwindling franchise and rejuvenated it with fixes and patches that removed bugs and glitches, and single-handedly held on to a bunch of gamers who would otherwise have gone elsewhere. All of that seems to have not gone unnoticed by EA, which from my own perspective is a massive credit to DICE LA. I mentioned in one of my videos a few months back, where we were discussing where the franchise would go next, that perhaps DICE LA would be in the best position to produce a game right now. To the public eye, they don't have anything other than Battlefield 4 to work with, whereas their big brother studio over in Stockholm is under heavy load with Battlefront and Mirror's Edge. Could this be the opportunity that DICE LA have worked for? I'm not so sure. We mustn't forget that we are 12 months from the release of the next game, which isn't anywhere near enough time, if you were to start now, to produce something meaningful and, well, a quality product. To give you an idea, Battlefield 4 was completed in two years. As soon as BF3 was released, half the dev team switched to Battlefield 4. Battlefield Hardline started at the same time as Battlefield 4, as soon as Battlefield 3 was released, but of course came out 18 months after Battlefield 4, in a working state and functioned as intended. So from that experience alone, you can see how long it takes to make a video game, or at least one that works as intended. 
And with that in mind, unless Dice LA have been working on the next game since the release of, of Battlefield 4, then I think it's highly unlikely that they will be the developer on the next game. If I were to take a stab in the dark though, I'd say what is more realistic is that the DICE Stockholm studio be the main studio for the game, but DICE LA play a much larger role in the release of the final product, and not simply have them work on post-release support and content. This would allow DICE in Stockholm time to release their two big projects that they're currently working on, and then work to have the new Battlefield game out in time as well, with the help of DICE LA full-time before release. But on top of all this, the door is still wide open as to exactly what we're going to get for the next game. As I mentioned earlier, we of course have had all the rumours under the sun by this point, but nothing concrete other than the fact that it's returning to a military setting. That much has been confirmed. There's a straw poll in the description of this video today with a few options as to what I think the next game could be. If you wouldn't mind picking one, that'd be awesome. I'd like to see which one you think is coming next. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks to Alienware as well for sponsoring the video. If you want to check out any of their PCs that they have or the Alienware 15 laptop that I'm using right here, then check the link in the description. It'll take you there right now. Leave me a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed and drop us a comment too. Let me know what you think the next Battlefield game will be. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.